Situated at the heart of the autonomous region of Andalusia, Cordoba is an important cultural reference point for Europe. This ancient city, which has been declared a World Heritage Site, is a mixture of the diverse cultures that have settled it throughout its history. The present-day gate replaced an older one that formed part of the city wall. It was built by Hernán Ruiz. The historic Court of Córdoba is a beautiful network of small streets, alleyways, squares, and whitewashed courtyards arranged around the Mosque Cathedral, reflecting the importance of the city during medieval times. The Mesquita of Córdoba is a splendid and fascinating 8th century building that has become a symbol of the many religious changes Córdoba has undergone over the centuries. Now a Roman Catholic cathedral, it has also served throughout its history as a warehouse, temple, and lighthouse. At one time, it was also the world's second largest mosque. Today the Mesquita is no longer a mosque, but Córdoba's cathedral, officially the Cathedral of St. Mary of the Assumption, though its architecture remains heavily indebted to the Islamic architects who built it as a mosque in the 8th century. The doorways are notable for the harmony of their design. The doors are a classic example of the typical Cordoban tripartite buttress doorway with its rich architectural adornment. Elaborately decorated friezes grace the area above the doors, with interlaced arches supported upon small marble columns. The motifs of the exterior windows are a symmetrical repetition of geometrical shapes extended toward infinity by multiplying, dividing, and rotating them until they become a metaphor of eternity. The three main decorated gates are of Moorish construction, while the East Gate, enlarged by Almazar, is a poor reproduction of the earlier gates. The Paloma, or Dove Door, was renovated in the Gothic style in the 15th century. The Mesquita de Córdoba is remarkable for its giant arches and its forest of over 1,000 columns of jasper, onyx, marble, and granite. The pillars soar above the capitals like branches striving upward toward the light. For the Muslim worshipper, the perfectly parallel symmetry between the floor and the ceiling flow in unison toward infinity, a mystical void, the bare essence of the individual's relationship with God. The red and white voussoir stone of the arches emphasizes the sensation of space repeating itself and expanding toward an unreachably far horizon. In order to attract the eye of the worshipper, the mirab had to be the most sumptuously adorned place in the mosque. The twin red and white coloring of the Vusvar stones that compose the arches near the entrance to the mosque was translated some centuries later onto this arch above the entrance to the mirab. Here they are arranged into a fantastic interplay of aetoric designs upon backgrounds of blue, red, and gold, creating a symmetrical repetition of floral motifs reminiscent of far-off Damascus.
After the reconquest of Córdoba in 1236, the Great Mosque became a Christian place of worship, though no immediate alterations were made to the building itself. It was not until nearly 200 years later, in 1523, that Bishop Alonso Marique obtained permission from Charles V to build a cathedral inside the mosque. Architectural tastes and concepts had changed over the intervening 250 years, from Moorish architecture through the late Renaissance, to the Pateresque, and finally to the extremely elaborate Spanish Baroque, the Churrigoresque. The cathedral contains more than 50 chapels, most of them occupying recesses in the walls. The most valuable item in the treasury is the early 16th century Gothic style silver reliquary belonging to Enrique Arfe, measuring 2.63 meters and weighing more than 200 kilograms. The entrance to the choir is a prime example of the rich mixture that characterizes the cathedral. The arch is in the form of a Roman cross or Gothic, while the vaults over the central nave and the transept owe their style to Herrera. This transept is a mixture of 16th and 17th century styles, including Hispanic and Flemish influences. It was added when the Catholic cathedral was constructed inside the old mosque, right in the middle of the Islamic temple. The choir has a square floor plan and is overlooked by a high frontispiece where the prelate's throne is situated, over which a statue of Saint Raphael, guardian of the city of Córdoba, watches. In 1328, Alfonso XI ordered the construction of a Christian fortified palace upon the remains of the earlier Roman and Arab buildings near the mosque. The fortress is square with towers at each corner, and its interior is ringed by a gallery flanked by numerous valuable archaeological treasures. The Alcazar de los Reyes Cristianos, Castle of the Christian Monarchs, is a historic palace fortress on Córdoba's Guadalquivir River. The Alcazar was built by Alfonso XI in 1328. The original Moorish Alcazar stood beside the Mezquita on the site of the present-day Palace of the Bishop. The Alcazar de los Reyes Cristianos is a quadrangular building notable for its strong walls and three towers. The Tower of the Lions, the Tower of Allegiance, and the Tower of the River. The palace became the seat of the Holy Inquisition in 1482 and remained so until it was abolished in 1821. Used as a prison until 1951, it was then restored for use as a museum and space for public events. The Alcazar is surrounded by magnificent gardens, called the Paseo de los Reyes, where there are statues of all the kings who were historically linked to the palace fortress. 
The gardens occupy 55,000 square meters. It is pleasant to stroll along its paths, admiring its wide variety of plants, palm trees, cypresses, and orange and lemon trees, overlooking stone fountains and large ponds. Water was originally brought in via aqueduct from the Sierra Morena, and the great Abolafia water wheel in the nearby Guadalquivir River helped maintain the supply of water. The large ponds were added in the 19th century. Beds of colorful flowers are bordered by tall green hedges. The Mudejar courtyard has been restored and the gardens returned to their original splendor. Behind the door to any Cordobesian house stands a typical patio of great historical significance, where water murmurs, flowers speckle the walls, and the grill-covered windows red, and the crosses of May come alive between the notes sung or plucked from the strings of a guitar, blending the fiber of life in a laughter that arises from Cordoba's cultural fusion. Cordoba's patios reflect the city's climatic conditions, an essential part of its house's layout, they offer much-needed respite from summer's heat. Whitewashed walls, fountains, columns and flowers are soothing in such a hot climate. In Córdoba, as in the majority of medieval cities, Jews tended to live in their own neighborhoods apart from the rest of the townspeople. Here we see Maimonides, a great Spanish Jewish philosopher. In the 11th century, Cordoba was one of Europe's most important capitals. People from diverse cultures and religions, Jews, Muslims, and Christians, lived together peacefully, a blending which fostered the rise of important philosophers, scientists, and artists. 